welcome America's 44th president and the love of my life, Barack Obama. At 60, Michelle Obama is about to drop a bombshell that's been fueling whispers for years. In a stunning revelation, she's finally setting the record straight on the rumors swirling around her husband, Barack Obama. Prepare for an electrifying glimpse into the private world of one of the most iconic couples in history as Michelle reveals what's been hidden behind the headlines. Background on Michelle and Barack Obama Before the Obamas were the Obamas that we know today, Michelle and Barack were two people trying to make their way in the world. Michelle Robinson, born on the 17th of January in 1964, was raised in the south side of Chicago. Family values and education were the two important aspects of her childhood. She was an excellent scholar and later proceeded to Princeton University to pursue sociology. From there, she proceeded to Harvard Law School and was awarded a Juris Doctorate. Michelle began her professional life at Sidley Austin, a leading law firm in Chicago, as a junior associate. Barack Obama, who was born on the 4th of August 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii, also had quite an interesting childhood. His mother and grandparents raised him, and he was shuttling between Hawaii and Indonesia during his childhood. Barack studied political science at Columbia University, and after his education, he relocated to Chicago, where he became a community organizer. His love for social justice saw him join the Harvard Law School, and he became the first African-American to be elected the president of the Harvard Law Review. The two met in 1989 at Sidley Austin, which was a turning point in their life. Michelle was assigned to supervise Barack when he joined the firm as an associate, and while she was not interested in dating him at first, he did not give up on her. Their first date was not very romantic. They went to the Art Institute of Chicago and then to the cinema, but it was the start of their relationship. Barack and Michelle became more attracted to each other as they discovered their dreams and principles. The couple got married on October 3, 1992, at Trinity United Church of Christ in Chicago. It was the wedding of two people in love, and they knew that the partnership they started was going to bring about change. Barack Obama's rise to fame started with his 1996 win of the Illinois State Senate seat. However, it was his speech at the 2004 Democratic National Convention that made him a national figure. By 2008, he became the 44th President of the United States, the first black man to occupy the presidency. His presidency was characterized by great milestones such as the Affordable Care Act and attempts to guide the nation through an economic crisis. Michelle's first ladyship was equally influential. She fought for many causes, including the campaign for healthy eating known as Let's Move, and supporting military families through joining forces. Her work touched the lives of many, and people grew to love her for her efforts. Michelle and Barack Obama's story, from their childhood to their political careers, is a perfect example of what a couple can achieve with determination and support for each other. It is not only their success story, but also the story of a great partnership that defined their incredible lives. The rumors, Gossip about Barack Obama was making rounds even before he rose to the national limelight, but it was in his 2008 presidential campaign that the rumors gained momentum. Once he became a viable candidate for the presidency, people started researching every aspect of his life in order to find something that could be used against him. Some of the first speculations were based on his ethnicity. He was born in Hawaii to a Kenyan father and an American mother. He spent some time in Indonesia as a child. This global upbringing set him apart from most American politicians, and some people seized on this and created stories that appealed to people's phobias and misconceptions about his origins. The more Barack rose in the political ladder, the more these rumors were rife in the media. It was not only political opponents who started disseminating some of them, bringing them to the foreground, social media, blogs, and even mainstream media. The birther conspiracy was perhaps the longest and the most publicized conspiracy theory that was circulating during Trump's presidency. Nonetheless, the theory remained afloat, 
And with the help of different politicians and media personalities, they continued to claim that Barack was not an American at heart. It was rather ridiculous to many people, but the rumor grew legs, and there was a part of the population that doubted his citizenship. Another major rumor that was circulating was about Barack's religion. Even though he is a Christian and goes to church with his family, a misconception emerges that he is a Muslim in secret. This baseless claim was based on his childhood years in Indonesia and his father, who was a Muslim, although he was non-practicing. This rumor was in line with the increasing Islamophobia in society at the time and was employed by the opponents to question Barack's allegiance to American democracy. Another rumor, albeit not as widespread as the previous one, but which caused a lot of damage, was that Barack and Michelle were not actually in love. Some of them alleged that their marriage was only a political union and not a true love. They believed that the affection they displayed to each other in public was an act. Such kinds of personal attacks tried to erode their image of the strong, supportive couple that they portrayed. People's responses to these rumors were diverse. On one hand, a number of people regarded the claims as what they were, an effort to discredit Barack Obama through conspiracy theories and racism. To Barack's supporters, the rumors were a mere distraction from the issues that he was actually trying to present in his campaign, including health care, the economy, and foreign policy. They stood in support of him, citing his willingness to make public his birth certificate and other documents as evidence that these were mere myths. But there was also a large segment of the population that believed the rumors. For instance, the so-called birther movement that sought to deny Obama's American citizenship only found an audience among certain groups that were either uneasy with the idea of a black man as their president or those who were always ready to believe in conspiracy theories. These myths were fueled by some influential personalities, including political rivals, which made them more credible in the eyes of the doubters. The media's involvement in discrediting rumors was a little more nuanced. While most conventional media tried to debunk the myths, some provided conspiracy theories with a platform, either for the sake of impartiality or for the sake of ratings. This gave the rumors a platform, and it became difficult to eliminate them. Michelle Obama's Public Stance For the entire time of Barack Obama's ascent to the presidency and the subsequent years, Michelle Obama was rather reserved and poised in addressing the gossip about her husband. In the beginning, she responded to this fake news sparingly as they dedicated their time and energy to their work and the hope they brought to the nation. When the birther conspiracy started gaining ground, Michelle was not very vocal. She left it to Barack to defend himself and produce documents. However, in case Michelle had to address the rumors, she did it in a strict but calm manner. She said that she was disappointed by the baseless attacks and said how much they pained her and the American people. In her memoir, Becoming, published in 2018, Michelle described how the birther conspiracy was a painful insult to her and her family, calling it a calculated effort to undermine her husband's presidency and incite hatred. Still, she did not go into details, focusing on the need to persevere and to look to the future. Michelle was very much composed and polite in public because she understood that any rude response would only fan the flames of the scandal. She became the protector, not wanting to afford any more authority to the lies by arguing with them for hours. The rumors about Barack Obama have always been complex for the media, and this of course had to affect Michelle as well. While many outlets were quick to dismiss the rumors and explain how they were racist, others provided a platform for racists to spread the rumors further. Michelle was often in the limelight not only as the first lady, but as the wife of a man whose blackness was being constantly debated. The media usually supported Michelle, but sometimes they wanted to know how she felt about the most personal comments about her family. Interviewees often mentioned the birther movement in their interviews and while watching the media. 
Michelle controlled for such moments by ensuring that the subject was reverted to her advocacy or the Obama administration. In time, the media's focus moved from speculations to Michelle's achievements and goals. However, during Barack Obama's presidency, she was always being asked how the attacks on her husband affected her and her family. Michelle attempted not to pay attention to such rumors, but the media ensured they remained relevant. Michelle and Barack Obama remained united both personally and professionally, even when rumors circulated. They always referred to their need for each other in the White House, thus making their friendship look solid. Their good relationship depicted strength for the nation and every couple in society. Michelle has also pointed out the rumor's price which people pay personally off-camera. In her book Becoming, she explained how the public criticism impacted her and her family. The theories, especially the birther conspiracy, were stressful and knowing so many people believed in them added to their stress. However, Michelle and Barack always adhered to their values and goals in this marriage. They were caring and supportive partners when raising Malia and Sasha. The rumors were destructive, but they did not determine the nature or character of their relationship or their history together. However, their image of being loyal and supportive partners to each other was enhanced. Michelle's recent revelation for years, Michelle Obama remained a silent figure who elegantly avoided the numerous rumors that swirled around her husband. In a recent interview that was quite revealing, she agreed to what some people had long suspected about Barack and his life prior to joining politics. The details of her confirmation were personal and enlightening to the viewers, revealing some aspects of the couple's life that Michelle had not exposed before. Michelle said that Barack's political career had put a lot of stress on their marriage, especially in the early years of his presidency. She confessed that gossip, especially the ones concerning their marriage, had hurt them more than they could express. Despite the fact that they were always a team, Michelle revealed that the pressure from fake news, such as those that doubted their relationship, affected them. But it was not only their affair, Michelle also said that Barack, although he never mentioned it during his presidency, was affected by the birther conspiracy. This constant doubt of his identity and citizenship troubled him more than people's beliefs because it was a race and prejudice problem in America. Michelle said that Barack had told her how these rumors affected him emotionally, although he never showed it to the public since he was a president and was expected to be strong. What Michelle confirmed was not new information. It was not shocking information. It was an affirmation of the emotional damage the rumors caused both to her and to him. All these years, they had managed to keep the public attention to themselves, but it was evident that the rumors affected them, especially Barack. That brings us to the question of why Michelle decided to respond to the rumors now, at this stage of her life. In the interview, she said that as she reached the age of 60, she started thinking about what she would like to achieve in her lifetime or what she would like to pass on to the next generation. Michelle said that although she has been more or less reserved about the intimate details of her marriage and family, she was now free to speak out. She said that as she transitioned to this new phase of her life, she wanted to be genuine and that included debunking the myths about her. She did not want the absence of words to be seen as a lack of reaction or concern. Instead, she wanted to clear the air, especially to her daughters, Malia and Sasha. Michelle said that she wished them to watch her speak the truth and not shy away from the consequences. Michelle's motivation also came from the need to look back and give a better account of what it really felt like being under the lens for so long. In sharing the pressure, she aimed at making people understand that being in the public domain, especially as the wife of a serving president, is not easy. She desired the people to know that it was not just political. The rumors affected her and her family in a very real way. Public and media reactions. The revelations that Michelle made elicited an almost instant public and media reaction. Obama supporters congratulated her for being brave and for telling the truth. 
Several complimented her for having come out to speak after so many years and for doing it factually and elegantly. When people responded to the interview, there were hash Michelle tells all and hash Obama truth. This is because after Michelle came out to confirm the rumors, many people got to appreciate the former first lady. Many expected that the rumors had affected her and Barack, but to hear her say it was inspiring. Her weakness and readiness to solve the issue on her own were applauded, given the fact that she was no longer in public office. The media responded differently to her revelation. Some sites focused on her courage in speaking out and her determination to end her silence. Some explored the rumors, going back to conspiracy theories and their analysis. Some political analysts pointed out that Michelle's confirmation of Barack's birther conspiracy hurt and reminded them of race in the politics of the United States. While some had certain doubts, the majority did. Michelle's statements reassured diehard Obama supporters, and critics of Obama also commended her for daring to challenge the rumors. The interview raised media concerns about Michelle's and Barack's legacy. Michelle Obama's statement that the rumors affected her and Barack has shifted the perception of the Obamas. To most people, the Obamas symbolized power, grace, poise, and togetherness. Michelle's readiness to face these rumors, which have been circulating for a long time, improves her image. Her candor about their difficulties brings them to the real world. They were human beings who struggled while in the national spotlight. It also proves that even the most civilized and composed people can be negatively affected by such allegations. This is true because the Obama's troubles behind the scenes have made those who admired their composure even more empathetic. Most Americans used to look up to the Obamas as a model for marriage, children, and leadership, but they became more understanding after Michelle explained how these rumors impacted their marriage and Barack's. Michelle's statements may be seen as motivating admiration among Obama supporters all through their political careers. Michelle's confirmation may not help those who have criticized Barack Obama's presidency or believe the rumors. Nonetheless, she has been honest and sensitive in her work that has touched many, especially those who have been through the ordeal of being exposed to the public domain. Michelle's statement strengthens her persona of a leader who speaks for others and embraces herself. Michelle's confirmation has raised controversy. However, it will not impact Barack Obama's image. The 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, has obvious accomplishments in healthcare, economic growth, and foreign policy. Almost all understood Michelle's recognition of the rumor's impact on her as evidence that Barack did not get angry at constant political threats. The revelation as to how much the birther hoax hurt Barack may bring race and politics conversations in America. Racism was at the center of the birther movement, which wrongly questioned Barack's citizenship. Michelle's recognition of Barack's suffering could lead to new conversations about the racism that affected his presidency and how it weakened him. It may also remind the public of how unrelenting and baseless rumors can be in American politics and how lethal they are to any politician's career and personal life. Michelle's confirmation is focused on political misinformation and its influence on public personalities and their emotions. Michelle's comments will not impact Barack's political career. Michelle's statements build up their marriage instead of erasing his role as a former president and a senior citizen. They may even enhance his standing by revealing how he dealt with private suffering and the business of ruling simultaneously. The insight of Michelle's confirmation may have its greatest impact on her self-development and journey. Michelle has been known to be strong and composed from a very young age. The extent of self-reflecting she did while explaining how the rumors impacted her and her family was quite notable. Michelle's readiness to disclose this personal information when she is 60 years old proves that she is ready to enter the new stage in life when she does not care what people will think and she will tell the truth. Michelle, first of all, protected the image of her family from political threats as First Lady. She says that she does not need to hide from these rumors anymore because she can respond to them. She may own her story and tell it. She may not own her story and tell it. 
This points to a shift in the public perception of Michelle in a more general sense. She supported Barack throughout the White House. Michelle has fully assumed the mantle of a best-selling author, public speaker, and advocate. Dispelling Barack's rumors is the last process of coming out of her husband's political shadow and embracing her voice. Michelle and Barack Obama are involved in higher ground productions and are supporting education, health, and leadership. Michelle's admission will not be detrimental to them in the future. It will strengthen their image as honest and strong leaders. That they are willing to talk about past problems is a sign of maturity on the part of the two. This newfound sensitivity may make them more popular with the public and thus be able to motivate people through their work and interpersonal relationships. And there you have it. Michelle Obama's revelation sheds new light on the rumors surrounding her husband. Click the video on your screen for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates.